This is the LG GPad 8 V480, and today you're going to have the opportunity to either install Lineage OS 14.1, which runs Android Nugget, or to install CyanogenMod 12.1, which is a Lollipop uh, ROM. And so there's a reason why you'd want to install either one. Um, most people would want the newest version of Android and so they would want to go with Lineage OS uh, but the problem with that that um, ROM is that it seems to be more, a lot more laggy than the CyanogenMod 12.1 ROM and so I recommend installing the CyanogenMod 12.1 ROM in this video we're installing Lineage OS 14.1 but I'll also describe how you could install CyanogenMod 12.1 because it's basically the same thing. Now it's going to take longer than than uh, most devices that you'd just be installing a ROM because you have to first downgrade the device and so that that adds a bit more time uh, to the procedure. So here we have a website showing how you can install this the Lineage OS ROM for this device. Now first thing we want to do is just download a bunch of stuff. We need the LG drivers, we need the LG Tools 2014, and then we need the stock KitKat ROM that we're downgrading to. And then we can also go ahead and download everything else like the TeamWin Recovery Project for this device, and then also the actual ROM itself. And you can either choose the Lineage OS package here, or you can choose CyanogenMod 12.1. So here we're going to look at the Lineage OS, and here we have the nightly builds for it, which you can just click and it will download, or you can choose the CyanogenMod 12.1. Now we'll also need Google Apps, so if you're, if you're using Lineage OS, get 7.1. If you're using CyanogenMod 12.1, then get 5.1. Android 5.1 gaps. Alright, so we have everything downloaded here. I downloaded it in advance. And the first thing we're installing is the drivers. And so make sure it's on English and it quickly just goes through and installs the drivers. Then just click next. And it's successfully installed. And now we can extract the LG tools, which will allow us to flash the old KitKat version onto the device. And when you do this, you're going to lose everything. So make sure. So what we're going to do here is just open the LG tools 2014. And so what we need to do here, we don't need to change any of these options, but we need to choose the file uh, that we downloaded for the KitKat ROM. And it's a KDZ file. And so we just click this little folder icon and then browse for that file that we downloaded um, in the uh, downloads folder. And so here it's this KDZ file. And then we need to get our device ready before we flash it. So we need to get the device into download mode. So the first thing we need to do is shut down the device completely. And after this, um, what we're going to be doing is, well, we have the USB connected to the computer right now. Now we're not going to plug it in yet, but we're going to hold the volume up key on the device. And we're going to keep that pressed. And then we're going to plug in the USB, which is connected to the computer. And then when we do that, we'll wait a little bit. And then eventually it will come to this screen. And then we can go ahead and get the, the program ready on the computer. Now you'll see that it shows this little firmware upgrade screen. It's not actually doing anything yet, but what we need to do now is get it set up with the program. And now that we have the device set up, we simply press the CSE flash button. And then in here, we don't need to change any of these boxes. Um, all we're really going to do here is click the start button. So click the start button, and then it asks for approval. And then 
Now it will show up this box where you need to change the country and language. So country just put to other, uh, language we put to English. And then press OK. Then press OK. And then it will come up with this window and it has a bunch of question marks everywhere for whatever reason and it's gonna say that it failed to download a file and we just can we can just simply ignore that um, it's gonna pop up here in a second and here it is just press OK and then don't just leave it alone and it will continue on in the process and eventually the device is gonna start um, showing a progress bar okay and here it shows that it is um, it is finally flashing to the device you can see on the device screen it is doing something and so we can just give it its time okay and it looks like it's about done with the process here it's rebooting now and then what it's gonna do now it's going into recovery um, and in recovery it's going to just simply um, I guess do whatever it's doing it's probably clearing data or something like that and the program force closed but don't worry about that we don't need it anymore once it's finished up it's going to reboot again and now this time into the stock KitKat ROM and the reason we need to downgrade this is because uh, there's a special permission thing to where it doesn't allow you to run Team Win Recovery Project on the newer version of, uh, of Lollipop. And so we need to downgrade it first so that we can get it installed. Now we can go through the default setup for the stock firmware. So we can set up Wi-Fi and we'll need this. Um, in order to root the device and then click next and then next and we can set up a Google device a Google account also because we'll need to install an app called flashify in order to install team win recovery project and then just finish up with the setup so just click keep on clicking next okay and now we're back to this stock KitKat firmware and now we can go ahead and download Kingroot and this is what we're going to be using in order to root this device so we can go to www.kingroot.net and from here you can install an APK and um, we're also going to need to um, set up the settings so that we can install apps outside of the Play Store. Okay, and so click download APK from kingroot.net. And now we can go into the settings of the device and in the settings of the device um, we can set the security so that we can install Kingroot. So close the tutorial and then go to security tab and then press unknown sources. And are, you, are you sure? Press OK. Now click on the downloaded app and then just go through these steps to install the app. Alright, this will take a moment. I'm going to de decline that from Google. Now press open. Alright, and here's a simple screen. Just scroll down and then click the try it button. And now it's going to check if it can be rooted. Alright, and then just press try root. And now it's going to have to go through this whole cycle until it gets to 
and at 100% it's going to be rooted. Okay, so now it has finished rooted right now, and now we're going to need to transfer all the files onto the device, including the Team Win Recovery Project image file, so that we can install Team Win Recovery Project on the device first. So plug in your device to the computer, and then from the status bar, pull down the status bar, and press on the media device and make sure that it MTP is selected so that you can transfer files. Now we can actually transfer the files so we need to select the team and recovery pro project image, the open gaps, and the ROM itself. And remember if you're doing CyanogenMod 12.1 uh, then select that ROM as well as the open gaps for 5.1. And now just paste it into the device's internal storage. And this can take just a, a minute or so. It looks like it's finished. Finished um, pasting in there. So now we'll go to the Play Store and install an app called Flashify. And this will allow us to flash the Team Win Recovery Project image onto the recovery partition on the device. So choose the Flashify for root users and then press install. And then accept. Now that it's finished installing we can open it and then accept the disclaimer allow root access and then you might want to do a backup and restore, but I'm just going to flash the recovery image right now. So press choose file, and then click file explorer, and then go into the SD card, and then select the oh, Team Win Recovery Project image. And then prep, press the yep button. And now it is flashing. Okay, and now you can reboot now, and we can see um, if Team and Recovery Project will boot up. Okay, and here's the Team and Recovery Project um, Touch Recovery, and you can uh, swipe to allow modifications. All right, and so what we're going to do here is uh, just first we're going to well let's make sure that the ROM is actually on the device first. So let's check and see. Okay, so we have the lineage and the open gaps. Now we can wipe the device. So we can go into wipe, choose advanced, and then wipe Dalvik system data and cache and then swipe to wipe okay and now it's done so now we can install the actual ROM itself so press the install button and press on lineage or CyanogenMod 12.1 depending on which ROM you have downloaded alright so here it's going to install the lineage ROM Okay, and it is finished installing. Uh, now we can go and install the Open Gaps 7.1. And remember, if you're installing Sanjin Mod 12.1, then you'll be installing Open Gaps 5.1. Okay, it's finished installing Gaps, just about. And so now press the Reboot System. And then do not install unless you want it in the Torp app. And then it's going to reboot into the newly installed ROM. So if it's uh, CM 12.1, it'll be booting into that. Um, if you installed Lineage like I did in this video, it will be booting into Lineage OS. Okay, so Lineage OS has finished booting up. And so now I'm just going through the setup. Um, so I'm just going to 
hurry up and get through this little setup. I'm gonna set up Wi-Fi and things like that. Okay, and the setup has finished. So this is about it. Um, now the first thing I noticed when started starting to use it is that it was uh, the graphic, the graphic uh, animations and stuff were lagging a lot. You'll especially notice that on the home screen. And that's something, uh, that issue is just non-existent on the uh, CM12.1 ROM. And so I would definitely recommend installing that one instead of Lineage. Um, even though, unless you want Lineage for its specific features and you don't really care about performance. So you can check out a ROM review for Lineage OS 14.1 or CyanogenMod 12.1 um, if, if you wanted. Uh, but this video is just showing you how to install it. And so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps. And have a great day. God bless.